Hello subscribers, this is yours truly, jblue68, coming to you with my next video. Uh, this will be uh, a video review of my latest findings of my X, of the X-Men 97 action figures. So glad to have uh, found all of them. Uh, before we get into this video, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Thank you for, for subscribing to my channel, for liking, sharing, and commenting. Please continue to do so and tap the notification bell so you can get more videos like this as I post them immediately. If the video quality and the audio sound a little bit different, that's because I'm using an old uh, camera because my latest new uh, camera that I had, uh, the thing completely died on me. And uh, I'll be getting a new uh, camera or camera phone uh, this upcoming uh, uh, weekend, uh, which will hopefully be in time for uh, Motor City Comic Con, which is next month in May. Okay, but for right now, uh, we're going to settle for this. And as you see in front of you, I'm going to try to get some of this glare out of here. We have Jean Grey. This is the actual Jean Grey um, from the X-Men. And uh, let's see. Let's just get a closer look. And I, I'm not going to take these off the card. I haven't taken any of them off the card. Uh, for the most part, I like it. It's not my favorite of the bunch, but I like it. Um, uh, it's something about the hair on here, or I don't know the um, her uh, face, her face bandolier, whatever you call it. But the sculpt is pretty. It's, it's definitely it's decent. It's this right here. I kind of have an issue with uh, the way they have her hair covering over her face, and it looks like a I don't know, like a mane or something, you know. But for the most part, I'm not gonna complain. I'm happy to have it in my collection. Okay, here's the side of the. Uh, card here here's the back uh, with Jean Grey on it um, but I, I'm happy to have that I'm happy to have it and uh, behind her is the other version of Jean Grey which we've seen in episode two uh, this is a uh, Madeline Pryor uh, also known as the Goblin Queen uh, as, as she is revealed and this comes with uh, this comes with um, a couple of swap out hands and it looks like some um, power effects and then this was a surprise I didn't know this is kind of like two figures in one here is <coughs> excuse me here's baby Nathan uh, Nathan Charles Summers uh, who grows up to become Cable of course uh, so this is kind of like two figures in one right here I thought that was really queen a uh, really cool rather um, and actually this is my favorite of the bunch I really love that head sculpt it looks wicked you know and then her, her in her black uh, outfit and the cape and everything that looks wicked man really love that there and then here is the uh, uh the back of the card here all right miss madeline Pryor, who we find out is basically a clone of jean gray um designed by the wicked the evil the sinister mr sinister and then i'm hoping that they make an action figure out of this uh from this wave of mr sinister i don't have a mr sinister in my x-men collection and then i found this guy right here one of my favorite x-men of course nightcrawler um i like the head sculpt but i don't like the black around the eyes there's something around, around that looks kind of weird and he, of course he comes with two uh swap out hands and you know i said i was looking for this guy i love the tail all right, so there's Nightcrawler. Okay, and here's the back of the card there. So this completes pretty much um, my entire the entire X Men ninety the second wave because we had a, we had a first wave that came out, which featured of course uh, Rogue, Storm, Gambit, and um, Bishop and Wolverine and Magneto, which I've shown those previously before. Uh, episode five just came out, titled Remember It. And a lot is 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 getting a lot of talk on the uh, internet. That was a powerful, a sad, surprising, and uh, just draw jaw dropping episode. Uh, episode five of X Men ninety seven. So far, this season has been spectacular. X Men, this X Men animated series, can truly be a series on its own outside of anything else Marvel Studios has done. And that's not a complaint about Marvel Studios. And, any, you know, I mean, I know there, there's been a lot of complaints about, you know, uh, some of the sh some of the shows that were in, in um, 
in um, both seasons, um, excuse me, in phases four and five. But this really stands out on its own, man. It, it, it truly does. And this last episode was, was again, it was gripping, jaw-dropping, shocking. You know, any of you have not seen it yet, I'm not going to reveal anything. I don't like to get a spoil as a way. But uh, we're, we're in mid-season right now. There are five more episodes to go. And I think the next episode will probably continue the uh, drama uh, between uh, Forge and Storm. You know, of course, this will be a spoiler. So I'll give you three seconds before I reveal this. One, two, three. Uh, where uh, Storm loses her powers. Uh, of course, that happens in uh, season in episode two. Um, uh, when the executioner takes a shot at her and she's depowered by the device that he uses. See, his camera is acting funny. You can see it kind of fading in and out. So I can't wait till I get my new camera phone. So anyway, so excellent episode. Excellent season so far. I hope that uh, the episodes will continue to deliver uh, the quality that they have uh, so far. And uh, that's it. That's all, y'all, for now. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm glad to have shown these figures to the uh, to you. Although I'm sure you've seen other you know YouTube channels where some some people actually found the wave all at one time. Well, you know here on the West Coast, East Coast rather, uh, that's been not so easy to do. But I have them all now. So and again, again, thank you all for joining me. Peace, love, and here, Greece.